reaction shot where we go. Ah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh. I'm not a Fantasma. No, he was wearing the hat. No, I gave it to you. What hat? The, the your hat other hat. From the future. And the and the Phantasmatron. We're recording. Tell us everything that happened. I can't what's this, yeah, about, yeah. what's this about our fans? You, you said something about our fans. These glasses are really cool. I like this. Welcome to Cinema Insomnia, by the way. Uh, what's this about our fans? Well, I brought this back from the future. <sighs> oh, wait a minute. What? You guys are going to have to sit closer and gather. He's off the shot. Sorry. I'll pan it over a little bit, too. Okay. Yeah, maybe we should set some of this stuff up. Is that how you're going to set her? Ready? Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Wow. I can't believe it. You're 25, 25. That's incredible. Now, what's this about our fans? You were saying, saying okay. something about our, our fans. Welcome to Cinema Insomnia, by the way. Now, you said something about our fans. What's yes. What's this about our fans? On this disc holds future episodes of Cinema Insomnia. Wow, really? Like, how far into the future? 513 years into the future. This is a show. Whoa, oh, careful, careful with that. that. It's a holographic image disc. Oh, a holographic yeah. image disc. Can we play a holographic image disc? Hey, I'm not a technical guy for nothing. What we need is a is a holographic disc modulator, and we need a oh. cranial cranial what shoot cranial. Cranial dome? Cranial dome! A cranial dome! Exactly! <laughs> we should start over? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think so. Let's go. I'm getting annoyed. How about you? I just say 15 years in the future. We're going to be dead 500 years from now. <laughs> we'll be dead in worm food by then. Okay, go ahead. Whoa. Ready? Ready. Wow, 2525. I, I, what a I can't believe it. 2525. Yeah, well, you said something about our fans. Wait, about this, your fans. About your fans. This is Cinema Insomnia, by the way. Now, now tell no us about No time for fans. that. No time for that. Sorry. If things continue on the course they're traveling for us now into the future, it means total disaster. Really? For Cinema Insomnia? I brought this holographic disc image. To you, from the future. Wow. It has, it's, it's got a Cinema Insomnia episode on it from 15 years from the future now. Wow. You must look at it. You must. I, I get... Now, can we play... This is a holographic disc here, Matt. Can, we need a holographic disc modulator, and we need a cranial dome. Uh, uh, do we... I don't know. You're the technical guy. No problem. They don't call me technical guy for nothing. Okay, well, I'm ready. There, there you go. go. Ah. Here. <laughs> Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. This is a new shot now, huh? Do one more of those, though. Then I'm just going to shot right. a buddy. Oh, one more of these while yeah. you stay here? Okay. Remember where Buddy's at when he hands me the disc, because i got to match that shot. Okay. <laughs> Wow, 
Phantasmatron. Wow, I can't believe it that you were actually in the future. In the future. Oh, this is Cinema Insomnia, by the way. No now, time for that. What's this about our fans, Steve? Your fans. Your fans will desert you. It'll be terrible. The entire story is here on this holographic disc I brought from the future. Wow, this really? disc contains an episode of Cinema Insomnia 15 years in the future from today. Wow. If things continue on the course as they are today, it means imminent danger, disaster, uh, ruin for well, Cinema Insomnia. Well, we have to see this. We have you to must see it. Um, well, this is a holographic image disc. Exactly. Kind of like, problem. We can play this, really? Hey, I'm not a technical guy for nothing. You have a cranial dome and a holographic disc modulator? Uh, yeah, I have to go in the attic, but... Oh, uh, okay. Well, excellent. Well, well, here, what else can you tell us about the show? Oh, are you ready, Matt? I'm ready. Cool. <laughs> Me? Yeah. Okay, I'm I, I'm ready. For, I'm ready for anything. No wait, you got to be a little bit more excited because that's how we left the last show. Okay. All right, all right. I'm ready. I'm ready for anything. Cranial dome, whatever it is. Wow, this is gonna be us 15 years from now. Hmm. I can't look at believe we're still on. <laughs> Are you gonna put this on me or not? Look at Steve and X excited, then look at me and tell me to lower it. Okay? Very excited. The intensity of the last shot was just was unbelievable. Higher. Okay. Battery lights on. Okay. I I can't believe you brought something 15. This is gonna be us 15 years in the future. All right, man. If you want to lower that cranial dome, I'm I'm ready. I'm ready. Wow. This is gonna be this is gonna be neat. This is not gonna hurt, is it? Uh. Wow. Wah! Ah! Oh, oh boy! Wah! <laughs> Oops! Ready? Okay. I, I can't believe you, but this is gonna be us 15 years from now. That that's incredible, Matt. Go ahead and lower the cranial dome. I, I'm ready. Wow! 15 years from now. This isn't gonna hurt, is it? What? What? Oh wow! Yeah! Wah! Ha! Uh, hello! Wah! Works. Help! Help! I'm being. Thanks. You roll the skillet? This is an experience. <laughs> hey, Roland, I hope to make a living doing this someday. Get them blinking? No. <laughs> but thanks. It is recording. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> ah. Ready? Yeah. Sure. Oh my God! See, now you see. Now you see how how oh serious this is. Wow! I can't, that's gonna be us in the future. I'm afraid so. Oh, did we start the washing? No, I'm I, afraid not. I'm glad I thought of it now. I'll do it. Do it again. Bye. Ah. <laughs> what the hell? Let's not have any accidents here, Matt. I don't know if that's gonna hold you, pal. Okay. Oh. oh my gosh. That's gonna be us in the future? You see what I mean? You see how serious this really is? Oh my gosh. We've gotta do something. I can't believe it. Well, well what event is it that could carry us, that, that, that could change that, that future? We, I can't believe that. I like your hair. Yeah, it was kind of funky, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah, I, I must, there must be some kind of hair growth in the future, maybe, or something. Anyway, uh... Shit, it didn't... Wait. <laughs> well, hey, you wait a minute. 59 minutes. 59 no, I didn't. Minutes. Oh, yes, you did. Did I? Have to, I maybe know. I should ask you that. This is one minute's a long time. You have to nuke the paper boy. <laughs> well, we ha yeah, maybe the paper boy. Here, you have, to, you have to use this on the paper boy. This will change the future. Okay. I don't know how yet, but okay. we'll, we'll write something later. <laughs> They didn't write Back to the Future all at once. <laughs> they had the script on. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Start your watch. Oh. 
Oh my gosh. Now you see what I mean. I can't believe you it. You see how serious this is. It's truly gripping, serious, oh. Oh. serious this is. That's going to be us. Oh, I can't believe it. It's got to stop. We have to do something. That's going to be us in the year 2027. 20, I can't believe it. I liked your hair. 2007. Though. Yeah, the hair yeah, was kind of funky, I wasn't it? I did like your hair. But that's the only good thing about it. The rest of it is terrible, terrible, you see? <laughs> terrible! I can't. It was, it's absolutely terrible. That's us in, in 2007. I can't believe it. Well, what is it that we can do? Well, uh, you think about that. I have to introduce the movie. Uh, this is movie number two in our, uh, our Dick Tracy fest. Uh, Dick Tracy versus Cue Ball, uh, 62 minutes. Once again, starring Morgan Conway as uh, as Dick Tracy. So, so we're gonna go into that real soon. But what now? Now something between now and then, 15 years. There's something that's gotta happen. This. You need to use this. I need to use this. And you need to use this. W what's that? What does that mean? The paper boy will be here. In five seconds. You will? Three, two, one. I guess so. I, I take this. Yeah? Take this. Do not aim it at yourself. Please. Oh, what does it do? do what does it do? Just go. Oh, okay. Go. Go. That'll work. How I know it. Ready? Set up, start. Start watch. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. Now you see. Now you understand oh how my terrible goodness. this will be if things continue. Is that's going to be us in the year 2007? I'm afraid so. Oh, um, well, we got to so. do something about that. I know. Well, I got to get to the movie oh, here. Quickly, quickly, quickly. We don't have much time. Uh, this is our second in our Dick Tracy, uh, our Dick Tracy fest. Dick Tracy versus Cue Ball. Uh, once again, starring Morgan Conway. <laughs> Matt's over there trying to do gymnastics, I think. Oh, ah ha ha! That was my eye. Okay. Trying to shot. It's not. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Get the watch ready. Right, how do you set the? How do you get, go to go up or whatever? Just there. Relax. <laughs> I'm setting it. I just need to hurry up. Seconds. It's 42 minutes, man. Is that minutes? Yeah. Uh, that, then. Buddy. I'm not wearing my glasses. Okay. You know, push this again, there, and you'll have a second. And you'll have a second. No, that's minutes. Yeah, right, okay. And then I'll... Okay, that's a... Oh, now you're going up. There. There you go. Set it back to zero. Where does this roll over? 60? Yeah. Okay, now what? Oh, then you set it for a minute again. Right, I can then I can count it down. Okay, push the top button. There. Okay. okay. Ready? Yeah. Is the watch going? Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. <sighs> now you see. Now you see how important this is. I can't believe really that. Really important this is. That's going to be us in the year 2007? I'm afraid so. <sighs> well, we've got to do something about this. We, I know. We can't let that be our future. I know. I liked your hair, though. Yeah, that it was. It was good hair. I guess but that's that the only good thing. Don't forget your hair. Forget your hair. There must be some kind of hair growth thing in the future. I don't know. Well, um, we'll think about this. You guys, you're gonna, we're going to go into the movie here. Uh, Dick Tracy versus Cue Ball. It's the second of our Dick Tracy Fest, starring once again Morgan Conway as uh, as Dick Tracy. 62 minutes of fun. 62 of, minutes. 62 minutes. 62 minutes of, 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 of uh, Dick gripping Tracy film. Now, there's got to be something that we can do. There is. There's got to be. You something. need to use this. Well, can't you tell me what it is? No, I can't tell you. No one should know too much about the future. Oh, you yes, well, use this. Use this. And this. Okay. Well, Don't aim this at you oh, like that. Okay. Aim like this. That. What? 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 It's time. What? In five, the paper boy's coming. 
four, three, two, one. Huh. Put this on. Right on top. I use this on him? Is that what I do? I use this on him? What does it do? You'll know. You'll know. You Go. What... <coughs> it's important. How is that? Fine. Fine. Rolling, homies. All right. <laughs> stop that, stop that. Are we ready? I'm rolling. Yeah, I'm ready. You gonna play with your toy or what? I missed you. Wow, Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I, I pushed this and 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 stuff came out and and he was gone. Uh huh. What what happened? What, what happened to him? You just sent him back to the year 1820. Oh, 1820! I sent him back to the old west. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be weird. <laughs> well, he's gonna be mad when he, when he ever finds his way back. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, uh, I guess uh, with that taken care of, it's time to go into the movie. Dick, Dick Tracy versus Cue Ball. It's sure to be real good. 1820. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do that again? What? Yeah. What? Talk more about the movie. There's nobody in it that you've ever heard of. I'll read it. <laughs> okay. Might want to choose like a later date. Oh, what? 1877. 1877. That was a good year. Okay. It was a good year for wine. Okay. Dick Tracy versus Q-Ball. Ready? Yeah. Oh, he's back. I'm back. I'm back, little buddy. I'm back. Oh, oh my goodness. I don't know what happened. This I point. The, I pointed this goofy thing at him, and and I pushed this button, on, and and all of a sudden there was all this stuff, and and he was gone. I know. I mean, what did I? Th what did I kill him? I mean, what happened to him? <laughs> you sent the singing paper boy. What? 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 No, what? What? <laughs> you sent the singing paper back. Paper. You, <laughs> you sent the singing paper boy back to 1877. 1877? I sent him back to the old west. What, yeah. th this is a handheld phantasmatron. Exactly. <laughs> he's back in the old. Oh, he's gonna be mad if oh, he ever he'll finds be his way back. He's upset. He's gonna be upset. <laughs> At least I don't have to pay my two dollars. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We don't have to take any more money out of Matt's vacation and fund. And you securely saved the future of. Cinnamon and Somni, as we know it. Oh yeah, that that was the event. Oh, that's great. Well, I guess uh, with that taken care of, we can go into the into the movie. Exactly. Here. What do we got? Dick Tracy versus Cue Ball. Oh boy, it's going to be real good. The second in our Dick Tracy Ooh. fest. How long is that? It's oh. Sixty-two minutes. Sixty-two minutes. Sixty-two minutes. Another whopping epic. Sixty-two. That's right. I better put this away before you better. Like, something happens. So go ahead and watch Dick Tracy versus Cue Ball. 1877. <laughs> As the bear turns. <laughs> Stop tape. Stop tape. Yeah. Action. Okay, see, what this is, is this is a nasal hair grooming device. Oh, oh wow. From the planet Zipbop. Wow. Nasal hair must be very important in the future. I, their personal nasal hygiene is extremely important to the zip pops. Mm. Uh, well, uh, that's it. 62 minutes. Dick Tracy versus Cue Ball. Real, real good stuff. Great. Real stuff. Real good stuff. Um, well, it's time to go into floppy disk films, I believe. Right there, Matt? Floppy right. disk films? Right. Hey, uh, so. Right. <laughs> right. 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 So we're going to floppy disk films and uh, we'll come back. We will. Now, uh, what's this What's this switch do? I uh, don't ask. It's the truth. Uh, right. Oh, great. Oh, okay. 
Okay, floppy disk films here. Hey! Hey you! There's all this noise. Yeah. Semaphore code. Okay, floppy disk films here on Cinema Insomnia. It's that time of the show now again, folks. That's right. That's not the right setting. Mr. Potato Head's letter of the week. week. So here we go, Mr. Potato Head's. Um, huh. There doesn't there doesn't seem to be a letter this week. Mr. Potato Head doesn't seem to have a letter. There will be. Huh. Wow! <laughs> What's this, some kind of futuristic envelope? This is from one of your friends in the future, maybe? Yeah. Wow, let's see. Here we go. Dear Mr. Potato Head, how does a healthy portion keep his globular ducts clean from blam bots? Just wondering, CZ Zimaxel, the tri delt spiral arm, resector Andromeda Galaxy. Wow, that's, they have like extraterrestrials in there? Yeah, thing? yeah, that's a tough question. Boy, that's really personal and that's really it. So I don't think we should get into that. That's really, really messy. Uh, maybe we can't say it on television? I think so. Uh, uh. Well, uh, if you have something to send to us, whether you're in the future or the past or, or wherever you are, send it to Mr. Potato Head's Letter of the Week. Care of Cinema Insomnia and Mr. Potato Head, Delta Broadcasting. Wait, wait, wait. What? I think we should give Steve the honor. Oh, you're right. You're oh. right. Delta. Go, Go ahead. Okay. Delta Broadcasting and the zip code 48710. All right. Yay. Yay. It's good to be back. It it's really good. is yes. good to be back. <laughs> First the freezer, then you zap me into the future, but now I'm back. All right. 48710. I'm back. <laughs> so uh, here's the address for viewer video, which we still don't have any. So send us stuff. Viewer video. Viewer video. You know what people know about this show. Oh, I know. Got it. <laughs> you know what viewer video is? It's where you, you have this video, and then we view it. That's right. right. That's right. And other people could view it, because we'll air it, and other people will view it. Right. So viewer video, Care of Cinema Insomnia, Delta Broadcast, University of Center, Michigan. 48710. Right. Well, I guess that's about it for this week's show. Next week, we have uh, the third in our four-episode Dick Tracy Fest. <laughs> that's right. Uh, Steve, you probably already know what this is, don't you? Yeah, but I can't say. Oh, okay. Uh, Dick Tracy Dilemma. Is this, see, I haven't seen this yet, but you probably have. Is it any I good? Have, uh, trust me, I'm not going to watch it a second time around. Oh, okay. Well, Dick Tracy Dilemma. We'll all tune into that. So, uh, I guess until then, I'm me, you're you. Go to bed. Peace. Ah! Don't. How's that? I goofed up the potato head theme like big time, but oh well. Swing. Okay. Ready? Okay, floppy disk films here on Cinema Insomnia. More animated fun. Amiga computer. Amiga computer, right. Um, it's that time of the show again, folks. That's right. <laughs> Mr. Potato Head's letter of the week. Let's see what old Mr. Potato Head has to say. This got week. a good one for you. Oh yeah? Yeah. Um. Well, there. This Mr. Potato Head's empty. There doesn't appear to be a, a letter this week. There will be. Oh. <laughs> I told you. <ya. laughs> wow. What is this? Some kind of futuristic envelope or yeah. something? Is this from one of your friends in the future? Yeah. Oh. Oh, this is really neat. Let's see what we have here. Ah, uh, dear Mr. Potato Head, how does a healthy portion keep his globular ducts clean from blam blots? Just wondering, CG Zimaxel, the tri delta spiral arm, resector Andromeda Galaxy. <laughs> That's a very touchy, disgusting this is, is question. Is this one of your friends in the future? They have yeah. extraterrestrials then? Very personal. Very oh, personal. wow. Can you answer that question? I don't think we should on TV. Really? I really don't think oh, so. Oh, those kind of... The Blombats. I don't uh, even want to talk uh, about those. Okay. Well, uh, if you have a letter that you want to send us, whether you're in the past or the future or whatever the heck you are, uh, go ahead and send it to Mr. Potato Head's Letter of the Week, 
care of Cinema Insomnia and Mr. Potato Head, Delta Broadcasting, what, University... What, what? Yeah? I think we should give Steve the honor. Oh, uh, I, I think you're right. Go ahead. University Center, Michigan. 48710. All right. It's good to be back. It's it? definitely good to be yeah, back. I tell you, first the refrigerator, the frozen thing that yeah. hurt, that was terrible. Not good, not good. <laughs> and then, bam, zap me to the future. All right, when I'm back again, All I'm right. starting to get annoyed. Oh, I'm sorry, Steve. We'll, we'll work on that. Okay. Uh, viewer video, we can give you the address. We don't have one yet because, you know, people aren't you know really sending us viewer videos. So send us! Send us viewer video. It's where you record video. something on videotape, send it to us, and we air it back at you, which is kind of a stupid cycle because you can just watch it at your house, but send it in to us for the whole world. That's right. Know. Everyone can view it. Everyone can do it. So here you go. Viewer video, care of Cinema Insomnia, Delta Broadcasting, University Center, Michigan. 48710. All right. So go ahead and send us all that funky stuff. Um, next week's show. You've probably already seen next week's show, I bet. Yeah, I have. Not to mention you know like the next 533 World Series. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. Yeah, that, that'll be good for, for you know, betting. You know? Well, yeah. uh, so anyway, for those of us who haven't been zapped into the future, Dick Tracy Dilemma, the third of our Dick Tracy Fest. So I haven't seen it yet. Is, was it good? You've seen it. Is it good? Tune in. Find out. Tune in. Yeah, well, you know. Not going to tell you. You know, technical Not guy. Not tell you. Technical guy and I will we'll both do that because we haven't seen it yet. So Dick Tracy Dilemma in seven days. Seven days. Well, I guess that's about it for this week's Cinema Insomnia. So until then, I'm me, you're you. Be good to your mothers. Are you recording? Yes. Okay. Matt. Matt. Buddy. Technical guy. Buddy the crazy host. It's me. Steve. I'm not dead. Matt. Hello. Answer me. Hello. Matt. Buddy. This is Steve in the future calling Cinema Insomnia. Come in, Cinema Insomnia. Hello. Action. Power of love is a curious thing. Make a one man weep, make another man sing. Hi, can I be in? What's that? Get off. Oh, what? Wow, what a. Action. Power of love is a curious thing. Wait, 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 wait. Make Instead of walking on, just stand there this time. Okay? Okay. Just knock on the door and then start singing. Power of love is a curious thing. Make a one man weep. Wait, wait, wait. More, more energy. More energy. Work with me. Come on. Very <laughs> Bang the door and start singing. <laughs> yeah, okay. Power of love is a curious thing. Make a one man weep. Make another man sing. Hey, can I be on your... What's that? Wow! Yeah! Just go up there and knock on the door. Buddy Allman? What? Are you Mr. Buddy Allman? Yeah. I have something for you. What's this? Western Union. We've had that thing in our possession for 115 years. Huh. <laughs> Me and the boys, we had a little bet going. Looks like I lost, lost. Wait, you're gonna have to talk louder anyway. So start over. Yeah. Buddy Alman? What? 
Are you a Mr. Buddy Elman? Yes. I have something for you. What's this? Western Union. We've had this thing in our possession for 115 years. I was hoping you could maybe shed some light on the subject. Hmm. Me and the boys down the station had a bet whether the Buddy character would show up. Looks like I lost. Sign here, please. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Huh. It, it's from the paper boy. The paper boy? Yeah, yeah. He's a lot high. If, according to my calculations, you should receive this letter the minute after I've been zapped into the past by the Phantasmatron. It's signed the singing paper boy, September 1st, 1877. Don't you see it? He's alive! Well, that explains 115 years. Uh, thanks. Hey, you owe me money. Thank you. Buddy Allman. What? Are you Mr. Buddy Allman? Yeah? I have something for you. What's this? Western Union. We have had this in our possession for 115 years. Me and the boys down at the station had a little bet, as if this buddy character would show up. Looks like I lost. Sign here, please. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's from the singing paper boy. The singing paper boy? According to my calculations, you will receive this letter the minute after I've been zapped into the past by the Phantasmatron. Don't you see? He's alive! Uh, it's signed the Singing Paper Boy, September 1st, 1877. That explains it. Uh, uh, you owe me $2. Dang. Here you go. Thank you. Thanks. I love you. going. It's going. It's going. Thing. Yeah, it is going. Um, How tough is that? Well, Matt, to be honest with you, um, you know, except for the legal hassles, man, that's the only thing that really concerns me. Um, there's some copyright stuff that you had to send to Congress, and I'm like, Congress? Jeez! So I'm like, oh, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's... Oh, my God, oh, man. At first, I was I started to get discouraged that you know because I'm like you had to send some uh, copyright stuff to uh, Congress and, and all that stuff. Try to look optimistic for right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, the person number two is S four. There we go. Oh. Well, I have a lot of evidence in the last one. 